This versus this. Let's talk about how to turn your BeamNG car builds or your favorite car into stunning photography. Today I'm breaking down how I make cinematic car shots using reshade, replays long exposure tricks, and proper composition. Whether you build drift missiles or you're just a car enthusiast, this is how to make them shine. The first and only thing you're going to need is Reshade. So head over to reshade.me and grab the installer. Once installed, point it to your beamng.drive executable. It's gonna ask what renderer you want to use. You're gonna click Direct X 11. Now we're gonna head on over to beamng and launch. I typically don't launch Vulkan when I'm taking screenshots, uh, but you can certainly try it and just report your results. So once we're in game, let's hit the home key. That will open our reshade menu. We're gonna to go to settings. This is where you can set your own overlay key. By default, it is home. I have set it to minus. You just highlight it here and then click whatever key you want. Next, we're gonna come down and we're gonna bind us a screenshot key. Then set your screenshot path, make yourself a folder under whatever drive you want and just pick it. For me, it's gonna go here. Make sure your screenshot format is set to PNG. Will give you the best possible outcome here. Down here, you can choose to have it show you a screenshot message just so you know that it took. Next, let's go to the home page. In the home page, I want you to look up realistic long exposure and click it. We're gonna set this to about two to three. I like running about 2.2. You'll see why here in just a bit. I'm gonna have it show us our progress. That, that way we know when it's done. And other than that though, you can leave this other stuff the same or you can experiment with these options if you'd like. And that's it, we're done with the initial setup here. So now just hit whatever button you bound to close this menu. And now we're at the game. Really quick, I wanna show you this. I have a stream deck on my computer and this process takes a lot of hotkeys. BeamNG has a lot of hotkeys. These are all things that I recommend if you have a better way to hit these keybinds quickly, I would do that and this is what I've done. So pick your location. I'm gonna to go to Jungle Island and go to the peninsula. This looks pretty. So now that we're in game, we're gonna come over here to vehicles, pick our vehicle. I have pre-installed a beautiful McLaren Senna. I think we're gonna be doing a sunset shoot. So let's go ahead and pick the blue McLaren. That way it contrasts well with the sun. So now that we're in our McLaren, one thing you need to do is go to UI apps, add an app and make sure you add the replay app. This guy right here. Make sure you add it to your UI somewhere. Like right here is good. Now we're just going to hit record on the replay tool and we're just going to take it for a little drive. So my graphics, I'm going to stick to low just while I do my drive around. That way my frames are nice and high. That way at least my driving experience is enjoyable. <gasps> and if you're garbage like me and you wreck your car, you can just restart and go at it again. Full speed. We don't care about the wreck. That's okay. We just needed the bridge crossing. So now we stop our recording. You'll notice the replay instantly starts playing. So let's go to our bridge shot. It was right about here. Okay, so now a couple things we need in BeamNG. Now that we're in our location, let's turn our graphics back up. If your graphics card can handle it, if not, you can still get nice looking photos on any of these settings. So now that we're in and our game is looking pretty, we're gonna use Alt left arrow key to slow down the game all the way to 500 times slower. Now hit J to unpause your game. So now our car is moving at 500 times slower speed. Hit C until you see relative. This now locks you to the car, but you can fly around with WASD and use your right mouse to look. Now that we're flying around, we can kind of look around for a nice place to put the camera. If you want to zoom in, it is shift page up and page down. If you want to roll your camera, number pad four and six. So we're almost ready for our screenshot. Let's hit pause and then let's hit alt U. That is gonna hide our UI. Remember that button we bound earlier for long exposure in the reshade menu? That's about to come in handy. Let's hit J, car's moving again. When I hit that long exposure button, this is what happens. Now we have a long exposure photo. That is the amount of information that was taken in over those 2.2 seconds we set in the exposure menu. It'll just sit here until you take your screenshot. So now I'll hit my screenshot button. There we go. We have a screenshot on our computer now. This screen will stay frozen until you hit that long exposure button again and watch what happens. Whoa, the car's in a different spot. It's because the game has always been moving behind that picture. So what I like to do is I like to take my long exposure. Once it completes, I hit pause. You can't see that it paused, 
But you'll see now whenever I leave the screenshot by hitting long exposure again, the car didn't move very far. It's because the game has actually stopped in the background. Now there are some cool things we can do while we're sitting here. Let's hit Alt U to unhide our UI. Let's go to the menu, to environment, and let's see where our sun can land here. Guys, this is the shit I'm talking about. God damn. This is looking really good. You can use these 10 minute adjustments to really fine tune the way you want your picture to look. In photography, we have something called the rule of thirds. Basically, you're making every part of your image make sense. If I put my car on the right third of the screen, I leave it this headroom. This is where the car's headed, so this makes sense. If I put my image like this, this doesn't make as much sense if I put it on the left third. Just for example, if I'm taking a horizon shot, I could put the car in the middle, but I feel like what we're seeing at the bottom isn't very interesting. So I'm gonna bring it up and put our car on the lower third. This way our sunset is on the middle third and with a little bit of cloud cover, now our upper third is very interesting. So now I've got this fast car coming this way. So we're able to see the road in front of it a little bit. I can add a little bit of a tilt if I wanted to maybe give it that really speedy edge but I'm gonna leave it flat. I kinda like the way this looks. Let's go ahead and hit Alt U and make sure we have our speed where we want it. So I'm gonna put it to 500. Now I'm gonna hide the UI with Alt U and I'm gonna hit my J for pause. And then I'm gonna hit my long exposure button. And I'm hitting pause again, even though we can't see the game anymore. The picture has taken over our screen, but always hit that pause button just to keep your car where it was. And now we have this really cool looking shot of this McLaren. Another tip, you can also go into graphics and turn off depth of field. These can be used for different things. Now you'll notice my terrain in the background is no longer bokeh, it's no longer blurry, which can lead to some better effects. So now if I go to hide UI, oh boy. Welcome to the world of mods. Let's not shoot from this side. Another big tip for composition and getting the shot you really like is using foreground elements. So let's hit play. So even though the car is blocked right now, as it takes the picture, the car will come into focus. So I'll hit my long exposure right now. Now we have an interesting shot with foreground in it that really shows us how fast the car is moving. There's so many ways that you can use this long exposure to take awesome photos. Another one is you can take the speed down to 100 times. We're gonna hide UI, hit play, and take our picture. Now, if you notice our background blurred way, way more, we look much faster. So let's speed this all the way up to real time. Let's take it back to the beginning of the bridge, hide our UI, play, long exposure. That is crazy. Hold an angle that I want, and I let the car just kind of drive and then pause it where I think it looks really good. Right here, this is a really good shot. I love the, I love the background. If you ever have that weird blur, just press play and then pause again and we'll get rid of that blur. So while the photo is up, there is a couple more things you can do. Open your reshade menu, and then look through these, look through all these. These are all filters and effects. We have like old TV filters and stuff. There's so many cool things you can do. Me, I have a couple that I like. I like Unreal Lens. I think this looks nice sometimes. This will give you a lens effect and you can adjust everything on it. It's kind of insane. Cinematic depth of field, this tool lets you point your mouse at things. So. Whatever you point your mouse at will be in focus. So now we can grab a shot like this, and then I can even go in and just turn off cinematic depth of field. And then I can just take my normal screenshot as well. So that is how I take pictures in BeamNG. If you learned something, hit that like button and subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, just let me know down in the comments. This is truly something I love to do at the SimRig. So I will catch you guys in the next one.